Well, guys, I did something stupid. I had 10 of these left. I opened seven of them off camera. I pulled a couple decent cards, but I only got three left, and I see really no reason to keep these sealed. They go for about $17, $18 a piece. I don't think these are going to increase in value anytime soon, and I can always buy more. So I'm going to go ahead and see what I can get and maybe pull a banger. Maybe not. We'll see. I will find out. All right. Welcome back in, ERB Sports fans, to another video. In this video, we've got three hanger boxes of Tops Update 2022 edition. These are my last three on hand. This is probably a terrible idea. KC Card Connection pulled a couple of decent cards out of his, but the ones I opened off camera, they really weren't very good. Honestly, I feel like if there was a banger to be had or a short print or something, it's in these three boxes because the others really didn't have any SPs. And I opened 10 of them. Or not 10 of them. I opened seven of them off camera. And they were the best card was a Stephen Kwan Gold. So let's see what this one brings. I got something going on here in the first pack. Can't tell what that is. I sent off a Stephen Kwan Gold. Over to PSA. If we have a generation now, this pack isn't going to be very good. All right. I don't know what this is. Looks like we get something going on up front. We'll find out. Looks like a blue. Is this backwards? It is. Giants. Logan Webb. Gold. Josh Winder, that was it. Ryan Yarbrough. We got three hits, but nothing good. <laughs> uh, Chris uh, Chris is going to roast me in the comments saying, I, sh I got a bunch, keeping them sealed. It's always the best bet. Yep, you're right. There we go. Let me get a J-Rod. That was rough. We got five... Something. I don't know. But like I said, I only got a couple of these left. These I got on Card Giants way, way back when for like 10 bucks. So I don't have a lot into these. I only got 30 bucks into them. Let's see if we can pull a J-Rod something, a Bobby something. Maybe an auto. I, I gotta say, I don't think... I recall pulling something amazing from all the ones I opened way back when. Like, I pulled decent stuff, but Brett was pulling massive fire early on. And uh, I was just pulling average stuff. I feel like the collation is exactly the same in this box, which is weird. All right, Lorenzo. So, uh, I mean, there is value in some of the cards, but... Not like crazy value. Complete sets. I got a bunch of those. I got like 12 of them collated so far. We got a rookie black gold. That could be good. Matt Duffy. Nolan Ryan SP. Hey. Is that a... Just an SP. And a Tony Goslin. Why couldn't that be J-Rod? He's usually the next card. Reds, Hunter Green. Wah, wah, wah. And that's pretty much going to do it. Wow. We're down to last box mojo here, and a Nolan Ryan SP is the best card. Whew. Should I have just taken the $60 and ran with it? Probably. Probably. But what fun would that be? <laughs> That's it. This is it. I only have the only update I have left is update one update hobby box and one update blaster. That's it. I'm hoping we get more than a dud box. We got some stuff going on here. Although I think 
Dinged corners are going to be the name of the game in this one. There's something going on up, up front. I think redemptions are still valid. I don't expect to get a redemption. Maybe an HFA? Maybe. Hard to tell. An HFA would be decent. Visor Bobby. Pull a J Rod HFA. That'd be nice. I don't know what's coming. Doesn't look like a generation now. It could be. If it was, it would be numbered. I think that's an HFA. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, it's definitely HFA. Okay. This could be good. We'll find out. Kota. Uh, A's. Oh. Ricky Henderson. Hey. That's not terrible. One of the all-time greats, Ricky Henderson, HFA. I, you know, it's not the worst pull in the world. I guess that'd be a kind of a nice way to finish. All right, and then Nestor Cortez, Adam Adovino, our four stars of the MLB useless cards, Smoltz. And a Bobby. And that'll do it. Wow. So, should I have left these sealed? Probably. But, you know, I did manage to have an HFA sitting there. I just didn't know it. Yeah, I think there's no J-Rods in here. Yeah, okay. That'll do it. Real quick recap. Three boxes. Lots of parallels. Lots and lots of parallels. Got two blues, two rainbow foils, one gold, three rainbow foils. Lots of parallels, lots of swings and misses. But what are you going to do? And then I guess the three good cards. We got a Wit, 87. So what? Nolan Ryan SP, not the SSP, just an SP. Pretty good. And a HFA Ricky Henderson. One of the all-time greats. And if that one was looking really good, maybe grade it. I don't know. At first I saw the bridge. I thought maybe it was going to be um, somebody from the Pirates. I thought maybe O'Neill Cruz. But, hey, that's a cool card. I like the way that card looks. I lived in the Bay Area for a while. So this one has a soft spot in my heart. Thanks again for watching, everybody. Like, subscribe, share, comment down below. Stay tuned for more content. And I'll see you in the next video.